Hi everyone, welcome to Sketching. It's uh, Boxing Day today, so uh, hope you're having a great day. Um, hope you enjoyed last night. I'm sure you, you're recovering from having your um, stuffed turkey. I know I am. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so today's sketch is, uh, is uh, a bunch of grapes, just a small little bunch of grapes that I'm uh, drawing. Um, I'm going in with the oil brush and I thought I'll do a kind of an oil painting style drawing uh, with a little bit of um, cross hatching on this one. Uh, I like the way the um, light kind of shone on the uh, actual grapes itself. It gave a nice bit of contrast and colours uh, in this one. So yeah, so all I'm doing here is I'm just blocking in the um, uh, colours for, for, for the grapes. There's just five grapes all together and I'm using different colours and hues to kind of give a bit of contrast and kind of really kind of make it easier for me to focus on each grape. Uh, I mean grapes are a great kind of subject matter to um, uh, kind of like you know practice on because uh, you get a lot of uh, kind of reflected light, you get a lot of shadows, a lot of contrasts and colours within grapes. Grapes come in all types of varieties, you get red ones, green ones, purple ones, all sorts. So yeah so I would give this one a go. Uh, the overall result of this I was quite pleased with. Um, I think I spent around about 35 minutes on, on this painting in, in total. Again, I'm trying to keep myself to about 30 to 40 minutes uh, for each of these uh, sketch challenge uh, drawings. Uh, mainly because, it's, it's again, it's just like a warm-up exercise to kind of what we're going to be doing in 2018. Um, so, so, yeah, so all I'm doing now is I'm just adding in the darker values. I started off with mid-tones and and now I'm just kind of darkening up the areas where there's shadows um, and then kind of just using the brush, the um, the oil brush from the artistic uh, palette in, in Procreate to just kind of blend in them colours really, really lightly. I mean, I, I'm really liking this um, brush, the oil paint brush uh, in Procreate. It's, it's really, really easy to uh, blend colours on it because if you want to go in really dark like I'm doing right now, you'd literally just press hard on the uh, Apple Pencil and you've got that nice thick kind of layer of paint and then if you want to kind of lighten it up all you've got to do is with lighter strokes just use like kind of basically use your hand like you were going to be using a normal brush and you can easily blend out the colors so it kind of picks up the colors that are already there and you can blend in or out of them colors so i think it's really really good i'm actually really impressed with these artistic brushes um that they've added into procreate because uh, i was a bit skeptical about it but yeah i think they're, they're very very good and um, i'm looking forward to doing a lot more with them so all i'm doing now is i'm just adding that yellowish shade where the end of the uh, kind of uh, grape is to the kind of stalk um and uh, just kind of blending it in uh, on the kind of three grapes where you can see it in the image and um, the other two grapes are kind of like facing downwards so you won't be able to see any green on them um, and all I'm doing now is with a 6B pencil um, I'm going to kind of like slowly craft out uh, some of the details of the stalks that are kind of gripped onto the uh, ends of the um, uh, of the grapes um, and this is just kind of roughly sketching it out the kind of overall shape of the stalk and how they're kind of interconnected and weaved into each other uh, just to give a kind of basic indication and then what I'll be doing next is kind of moving in with the uh, with the paint uh, over this line art that I've just done and then kind of slowly bringing in the darks and lights but yeah I mean I, I hope you really are trying this uh, uh, sketch challenge um, if you are please let me know in the comments below and let me know how you're going and uh, again you're free to use any of the images that I uh, I've been using they're, they're all my own images I take them every day uh, just before I'm about to do my uh, painting um, and again um, like I said before I'll be making all of these images available uh, on my website in 2018 uh, for you to download for free and use as reference um, so do kind of subscribe to the channel because I will be doing an update um, regularly on you know how the development of my website's um, coming so yeah so all I'm doing now is again I'm just darkening the details on the um, on the kind of like stalky area um, and it's, it's very rough at this stage and to be honest with you the whole painting is quite rough it's not kind of an intricate highly detailed painting um, obviously you know within 30 to 40 minutes you, you can't really produce something you know to that standard well well I can't anyway to the standard that I would want it what, what I would class as high detail you know finished artwork but yeah for like a quick like a quick sketch it's uh, it's definitely adequate so all I'm doing now is using like an olive green uh, shade to kind of like bring out the darks and the lights uh, to like add some contrast and form to the uh, stalks um, 
and yeah it worked worked out pretty nice um uh, again just adding in detail slowly and building up those values really really uh works at the end i know it can be quite a tedious uh thing and sometimes you might start off doing something and you might think oh this doesn't look right but but really you've got to kind of see it all the way through uh just keep building those values uh you, you know use use the values kind of like start off with a mid tone and then go in dark then go in light and again you've got such a great advantage with digital uh, painting that you even if you make a mistake you can so easily just erase it out and another advantage is the layers that you've got so you can slowly build all the kind of elements on the layers and then you've got full control over what you want to edit uh, so all I'm doing now is I'm just adding in the cross hatching on on each grape to kind of really really bring out you know some texture um, and also kind of like you know darken up the areas to give that a 3D effect. Um, but yeah, overall I was I was quite pleased with this. I'm mean, I'm using this similar technique in every uh, video now in every sketch where I'm kind of laying out the paint with an oil brush or an acrylic brush, uh, and then I'm going in with a lot more detail with the pencil. Um, and again, that's the kind of my style of painting. You might not uh, kind of do that way of art, or you know you might not be inclined to use pencil and paint uh, the way I do it. But whatever way you prefer to do it, just just do it. Just make sure you do something every day um and it will really really help uh your kind of journey and your kind of like you know building up those skills and kind of like you know just just kind of practicing really uh because in the end of the day the more you practice uh, the better you're going to get obviously you've got to practice doing the right things so so that's kind of the whole point of this 30 day challenge it's not really about getting everything right in these first 30 days it's just about practicing just using color using pencils using different kind of tones and values values and shapes just to kind of train yourself to kind of just start drawing and then when we start doing more technical stuff like uh, perspective form lighting shadows uh, more of the technical things that we're going to be doing in 2018 those are going to start becoming a lot easier for you to kind of deal with all because you've been warmed up in this 30 day um, period uh, so yeah again I've, I'm, I'm spending like 30 to 40 minutes every day doing this sketch you don't need to spend that much time you can spend five minutes initially this was called the five minute sketch challenge um, but for myself I just kind of because I've got a little bit more time this Christmas uh, break um, I just like to spend a bit more time and kind of experiment with these uh, brushes that I have in Procreate so yeah so all I'm doing now is again for each grape I'm just adding in these um, lines with the pencil to kind of give a kind of texture and a, a bit of a, a shape to the overall grape um, rather than have it as a flat painting and I think the overall effect is quite good uh, obviously if I had more time on this I'd go in with a lot more detail I would do this pencil stage pretty much right at the end uh, before that build in the layers of the paint um, add the dimension and depth with the different variations in color and then right at the end I'd do this um, kind of cross hatching um uh, way of kind of you know bringing out the final touch uh, but yeah uh, I mean currently I'm working on um, one of my illustrated books um, it's like a children's uh, book and a lot of the drawings I do in that um, uh, are in the similar style like this uh, so they're very kind of like illustrative very cross hatching uh, kind of oriented and a lot of kind of paint and colors uh, I might do maybe maybe in 2018 I might do kind of like an expert of that uh what what page or something you know we'll we'll see how it goes it's, it's still in the development stage at the moment but yeah so yeah so coming back to the uh, painting all i'm doing here is again just kind of like adding more and more lines in and then kind of look standing back and having a look because again it's really important to uh stand back and have a look at your overall drawing to see kind of the composition and kind of like you know the flow of color uh rather than just spend ages working on like a little area with the pinch and zoom function um and then that way you kind of uh, kind of maintain some sort of control and perspective of the overall look and feel of the image um so yeah so all i'm doing now is um i'm just adding in uh, some darks with the airbrush uh, i've lowered the opacity uh, to quite low and just with a dark kind of reddish brown color i'm just adding in the um the uh, the darks to kind of bring out some shadows on the actual grapes itself and that kind of really really adds that depth um 
Whereas if you don't, well, like this is what I think anyway. If you don't, if I don't add this in, then it just feels a little bit more cartoony and flat, uh, and I, and that's not the look that I'm after. I mean, the cartoony and flat look is great for uh, illustrative uh, work, like in my uh, novels and things like that that I do. But for this kind of particular exercise, I, I want to have a slight bit of realism in it. So yeah, so all I've added now is with the same airbrush, I've just added some white highlights on the four grapes, and I'm just adding in the drop shadow that's on the uh, table. Uh, for all the individual grapes um, with the black uh, on the airbrush I'm going in quite dark and then once I've done that all I do is just click on the um, the opacity button and uh, bring it down so that I have a nice uniform grey uh, drop shadow which looks really good I think um, and it's really easy and quick to do and the final kind of um, part to this is to just add in the highlights and this time I think I'm using just um, one of the fine liners from the ink Ink brushes usually I use the technical pen but I thought I'll try out the fine liner and it worked out pretty nice uh, I mean I lowered the opacity and the shape of the um, the head shape uh, to kind of vary some of the strokes and it worked pretty well um, uh, highlights are very important at the end of a drawing or an image that you're doing because they really really do add that uh, kind of you know that extra factor to it that makes that image look you know that little bit more be better um, but obviously you don't want to overdo it because um, if you overdo the highlights then it, it kind of you kind of lose the effect but yeah so um, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something from it I hope you're trying out the challenge if you are please let me know in the comments below how you're going I hope you enjoy this boxing day uh, thanks so much for your time thanks for watching please give the video a thumbs up please also subscribe to the channel for more content and I hope you're having a great day so thank Thank you so much for your time, keep sketching and peace.